Hey everybody, Melissa here. So today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic organizational chart in Microsoft Excel. Now what this means is we will have a spreadsheet that contains all of our employee information and we'll use a Visio add-in to extract that data directly into an organizational chart. Then as we make changes to our employee list, like adding employees or removing them or changing job titles and positions, we just refresh our organizational chart and it automatically updates. I can't wait to show you how this works, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is our spreadsheet that has our employees for our information technology department. We have their employee ID, their name, title, manager ID, and their row type. Now their manager ID is who they report to. In this case, like our supervisors report to ID1, which is our IT director. Our IT director is blank because within this department, he doesn't report to anyone. If we had an organizational chart for the entire company, there would probably be a manager ID in here, either for the CTO, CIO, or maybe even the CEO. And the formatting and layout of this information is predefined by Excel and Visio, so it can extract this data and put it into our organizational chart. So the next thing we want to do is get our Visio add-in. And I'm going to go ahead and add a new sheet because as soon as we do this, it's going to pop a template into Excel. So what we're going to do from our Home tab is we're going to go over to Add-ins, Get Add-ins, and we're going to type Visio. We're going to add it. This is a licensing agreement, so we're going to say Continue. And now we have our data visualizer in Excel. So we do not have to have a Visio license to use the data visualizer in Excel. However, you are required to have a Microsoft 365 license to use the visualizer. So if you don't have a Microsoft 365 license, this will not work. So let's go down to organization charts and we can pick one, but I'm just going to pick the hybrid. So the information we have here is not our actual employee data. This is just a template where Excel and Visio are telling us this is what we need and this is how we need it to be formatted. Well, if you remember on our original sheet, this is how we have it formatted. So we're ready to go. So what we're going to do is copy our actual employee data into this table. And we do not need the department. We just need employee ID over to row type. And we're just going to go to the first row and we're going to paste it. And now we have all of our employee information in our table. And this is an actual table because if you look, it says table design and it says it's table 15 and it's now connected to this organizational chart. So what we can do is refresh it and we have our information for our employees. We have Brian Hall, who is our IT director, all of the supervisors and his executive assistant and the employees that report to them. Now let's say we have an employee that switches positions. James Smith goes from being a business analyst to being a software developer. If we go over to our table, we can change James Smith to a software developer, and we need to change his manager he reports to from ID2 to ID3. Now if we go back over to our organizational chart and hit refresh, James Smith has been moved from business analyst to software developer. Now let's just say we have a new employee. If we go over and we add them, let's do ID 101, and let's just say it's me. And I want to be a business analyst, and business analyst report to ID 2, and I'm a member of the staff. Now if we go back up and we refresh, I have now been added under John Jones as a business analyst. And the great thing about this is let's just say that we accidentally add an employee with the same ID number. Let's just say ID 37. It turns pink here, but it also gives us a data checker that tells us you have duplicates. How do you want to handle these? And we can either change the ID number or we can just remove the row if we've done it by accident. And the error goes away. Now, if you need to get back to your Visio add-in, you can do that from your Developer tab and Add-ins, and you will find it here. 
If you do not have your developer tab, you can go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, Main Tabs. Under Developer, you would select Add. It would add it here, and then it shows up in your ribbon. And now you can quickly and easily keep your company's organizational charts up to date. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget to hop on out to my website, melcompton.com, for written instructions for this tutorial and so much more. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.